I swear I'm gonna collapse if we don't find somewhere to rest soon. You do tire pretty quickly. Ugh, give me a break. We've been walking for the last several hours, and we haven't seen a single motel yet. Don't worry, Kendra. I'm sure we'll find something soon. It will be worth the effort, trust me. Well, it better be. Something has to make up for the 10 gallons of sweat I lost in the last few hours. Hello there. What are you two doing in the middle of the road by yourselves? You need a ride somewhere? Hi, um, I think we're good, but thanks for asking. You don't sound like you're from around here. Not sure what brought you to this place, but I'll be honest with y'all. Ain't much around this area to entertain young ladies like you. Actually, we didn't come here for drinking or partying or anything like that. We're here for the nature side of things. We're big hiking fans. Better for the body and soul, you know? Well, it's getting dark soon, and from the looks of it, the two of you seem pretty wasted. You guys have a place to stay the night or something? We've been trying to find a motel for a while now without much luck. Do you know of any place around here we can stay for a decent price? Yeah, there's a guest house a couple miles down the road. It was opened recently by a young couple, Thomas and Laura Kinsey, if memory serves. Met them once when they just moved in a few months ago. Came around to fix the electrical wiring in the building. Lovely people. I really like their little boy. Kind of tragic what happened to him. What happened to him? I don't know the details, but rumors are he died in an accident while the family was on a short trip out of state. The boy couldn't have been more than five. Since the accident, the Kinsey shut themselves from the world. Whatever they need, they just order in. I guess you can't really blame them. The death of their boy must have been so hard on them. Good thing they kept the guest house open, so at least they get some passing visitors. I'm sure they'd be very happy to see the two of you. You know, lighten up the place with your presence. Uh, yeah, I think we don't have much of a choice. You guys sure you don't want to ride? No, that's very kind of you, but we'll be okay to walk the last few miles. I understand. Can't be too careful with so many wackos running around nowadays. You and your shy friend take care of yourselves. Enjoy your stay in the guest house. Bye. Adios. Let's go to the motel. It's getting dark. Oh, wow. It looks a lot better than I expected. Yeah. Didn't expect the guest house to look that nice. Let's hope the inside will be just as good. What? Behind one of the windows. There was a really creepy looking thing. Uh, a man or a boy looking through the window. It was just there a second ago. Jen, I think the long journey is messing with your head. How about we go inside, get a room, and you go lie down for a bit? I swear I saw something. It was probably just one of the guests. I guess. I think I definitely need to lie down. Do you mind getting the room? I'm too tired to do any paperwork. Hi, sorry to disturb you. One second.
What is it? Um, we'd like to book a room for two nights, please. How many? Uh, how many? How many of you, goddammit? Well, how many do you see? It's just the two of us. Don't try to be funny with me or I'll kick both of you out of my motel. It'll be a hundred dollars for two nights. Your room is up the stairs, first to your left. No breakfast served or any meal for that matter, so you better have brought some food with you. I'll need some ID from both of you. Oh, we can give you our driving licenses. I'm going to keep those with me until you check out. Once I made sure you didn't do any damage to the room. The room looks pretty nice, huh? Can't wait to hit the bed. Yeah, me too. Quite happy with this place. Not so much with the hosts, though. Now he was one big asshole. Didn't that guy we met on the road say the Kinseys were a lovely couple? Well, you know what happened to them. Not sure I would behave any better in their position. But that's no way to treat your guests, especially paying ones. Yeah, I know. Let's just go wash up and get ready for bed. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I'll go take a shower first. Finally get to wash off all this sweat. Hey, Jen, come check this out. Look, what the hell is that? Wow, is that mold? I'm not sure. There's this weird smell in the bathroom. I wasn't sure where it was coming from. Then I looked up and saw this monstrosity. We should tell the owners about this. I can't believe they take guests in with a bathroom in this state. Okay, you go talk to them. Oh, and the shower head's broken. Could you ask if they have a spare one somewhere? Sure, I'll be right back. I just saw a little boy run past my room. This place must be quite special if his parents preferred staying here to somewhere in town, huh? What boy? You girls are the only guests at the motel tonight. What? I definitely saw someone. Look, I don't have time for this. Go to your bedroom. We're shutting the lights soon. There is a huge mold patch on the bathroom ceiling. Are you guys going to look into that? Ah, yes, there's a leak in the attic. The rainwater is causing the mold to grow in some rooms. I'm getting it fixed soon. The shower head in the bathroom is broken, and we're not able to take a shower. You can get a new one in the storeroom. It's over there.
Doesn't seem like you have anything we can use to attach the shower head yet. Ah, there you are. Took you a while to get the shower head. Mm, it doesn't seem to fit properly. I think we need something to properly attach it all together. Could you go downstairs and find something we could use? Yes, I think cello tape will do just fine. It works. Now we can finally take a shower. Finally, time for us to get some long overdue sleep. So what took you so long to get the shower head? I waited so long I thought you'd forgotten about me. Took me some time to find it. It may come as a shock to you, but Mr. Kinsey wasn't exactly very helpful in the search. What a surprise. Oh, I think I saw a laundry room downstairs. Since I'm already in my pajamas, do you mind taking our dirty clothes down there, please?
here. I just washed those bed sheets. Have you lost your mind? Get the hell out of here. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. I'd better go and get some rest. <laughs> 